Ying Zay, the most disrespectful 600 pound life patient ever. Stephen Max, Asante. Let's check it out. You too, what do you do? It's your boy, King Zay, back in the stew, man, and eat, bro. Today, bro. <sighs> Today, bro, we got my number one enemy, bro. Uh, y'all know if y'all watched oh, the last shit. 600 pound life video I did, bro. I said if it's one person I got beef with, bro, this is the only dude on 600 pound life I got beef with. Bro. Same, I seen a bro. clip of him being rude to the nurses. He is the only person I've ever seen get kicked out of hospital for behavior, yeah. bro. It is Max, bro, aka Steven Asante. Why do I, I call like him it. Max? Because every time he step on the scale. It says Max. That's why. Now listen, bro. I think some of y'all thought I was capping, bro. This dude is literally a 600-pound demon, bro. I really want y'all to see this, bro, just to understand I don't be saying stuff for no reason, bro. You know what I'm saying? So all that being said, bro, we finna get into Max's story, bro. So make sure you grab your snacks and let peep. <laughs> Him. Bro, who like Whoa. grown ass man? By the way, who he think he is? Nakado Alba Matamato, bro. Whatever his name is, bro. Hey, bro, y'all, you, yeah, you, you so see what I'm saying? You hear how he talking to the nurses, bro? pound man from Cranston, desperate. He talking so crazy for a person that can't take care of their own self and needs somebody to do it for him. I would have been stopped giving him baths, all that. Stop feet, all that. Right off the yeah. bat, it's never a good look when you get kicked out of the hospital. The news reports say ordering pizza was his final straw, but I think it's safe to assume that this was not his only infraction. Steven Asante is being transported to my care in Houston right now. And I'm not sure what to expect. From what I understand, he suffers from severe psychological issues that make it problematic to treat him. Dr. Now draws a similar conclusion. It sounds Give me like attitude. a perfect storm of dysfunction is coming. That food really got to his brain, the bro. The challenge yet, tried to help the Asantes. Even is acknowledging that he has an attitude issue. And the yeah. first step to fixing any problem is Major. admitting that the problem exists. One day I happen to open up that closet and I see 10 piles of empty pizza boxes in here. Jeez, I said, let me tell you something, yeah, it's gonna stop. Bro. But he wanted his way. He used to threaten me and say, look, if I don't eat, I'm gonna call the police on you. As if those and that's crazy, bro. Cause it's not, it's not, it wasn't if he didn't eat, he was gonna call the police. If he didn't eat three dinners, five breakfasts, and eight lunches, he was gonna call the cops, bro. If he fed him Damn. three times a day, he was still gonna call the cops, bro. He need three meals of every meal. Literally, own that's father crazy. Gives a pretty damning description of his son's behavior. Sneaking and that's your father too. On this show, crazy. But threatening to yeah. call the cops and claim abuse. Yeah, I Wild. can't say I've seen that too often. Wild. We've been on the road for Tell a few hours bro. now. This is this, this this probably the one dude I don't want to see succeed on 600 pound life, issues. bro. I had 4 a.m. breakfast, and then I pretended like breakfast. I didn't have 4 a.m. breakfast, and then I had breakfast again. Look, I see what I'm saying, bro. Bro, this man just. <laughs> this man just had two breakfasts and lied about the first one just so he could get another one. <laughs> Come on now. Maybe you shouldn't be sneaking two breakfasts on the same Come trip. on now. I get it. Food addiction is a real thing. A lot of these people simply can't help themselves. But, but not, yeah, 100% food addiction is real, so but this dude, he just taking no advantage. At all. I'm gonna give you a hamburger about the size of a half an hour in a pea okay. on a plate, and that's 300 calories right there. I'm Look at him all nice, Steven. Your dad just gave you food and is trying to lower your portion so you won't break a hospital bed frame. All you can do is flip him off. No. Yo, I, bro, Hi. one thing I will say, bro, I know I keep pausing, bro. I love this commentator, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This is probably one of the funniest commentators, bro. Literally. I'm Nice to meet you. You doing okay? Yeah. And a lot of pain from the trip, though. It was quite the ride. Steven and Dr. Now meet face to face for the first time, and Steven complains about pain. We'll Funny, we didn't hear anything about that on the way down, and Steven isn't exactly the kind of guy to suffer in silence. Steven is kind of. Run it back, run it back, run it back. Hear anything about that on the way down, and Steven isn't exactly. Why is there 8 million nurses Jeez. to carry him off the truck? Is there, is there, I mean, I understand. This is a big dude, by all means. Cuh. No, let's actually count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven people to lift him out of a truck and put him on a hospital bed, bro. Uh -uh. 
this dude, this is beyond ridiculous, bro. Exactly the kind for of guy that suffers that is ridiculous. Damon is casually asking for some pain medication, but his body language shows that he really wants it. So he's either no, in a lot food, of pain right now, or we are dealing with a very addictive and pathological personality here. Okay, it's not just me. Dr. Nahas has reached the same conclusion. More than likely, Stephen is lying or over-exaggerating his pain in order to get some pills. Okay, Stephen, we're going to start to control that here in the hospital. That's going to be a thousand calorie a day. We should be able whoa, to get whoa, whoa, whoa. Jumping down from 10,000 calories to 1K is kind of crazy. Not going hold. Nice seeing you guys. All right, won't be bad. I shake your hand. Thank you. All right. Hey. Due to his condition, bro? Steven is staying in the hospital and will be on a strictly monitored diet. Steven hasn't been too difficult so far, but so far. he does show some... Well, we're not going to edit that out. Pretty well, but Dr. Now is not so sure if this attitude will last forever. There have been some frustrating <laughs> moments that have been harder for me to deal with. Mostly how long it takes for people to respond to the call button. I get frustrated sometimes. That's what's going on. Yeah, we're Mostly, already starting to see that honeymoon no. period fade away. Steven, it's a hospital, not a five-star hotel. That's what I'm just saying, though. The hardest yeah. jobs in the world. Well, Unless it's the nurses, you like they just cater and the of an eye. These people are really, really, really getting on my last nerve. No, it's bro, very frustrating how long I have to wait for everything. I have to call them and check on things when nothing happens. You could tell a lot about a person by the way they treat those that work for them. And Steven's atrocious behavior really tells you everything you need to know about him as a person. But trust me, we're just getting started. Over the past month, a lot of his pathological behavior started to come out. He's become abusive to hospital staff and he expects everybody to wait on him hand and foot. Dr. Now's reaction here tells me that Steven's behavior isn't being manipulated by TV editing. It's just the type of person he is. And I'm not liking what I'm hearing. At times, you know, um, I, I sometimes I get frustrated. If I act like a kid, I want you to treat me like a kid. Once Since you acted like a kid, how about we feed you like a kid, Max? How about we just do it? Would you yeah. like that, buddy? Would That's you like that? Saying. I don't want to hear of this issue again. And I if I do... Say then How about this we is going like to kid? be a very different conversation. Yeah, Doctor now has officially set an ultimatum. Food. Shape up or get like out. Let's see if Steven has what it takes to make the change. After Doctor Nasreddin talked to him, Steven didn't change at all. Look at look at look at Magnolia. After Doctor Nasreddin talked to him, Steven. Look at Maggie. Maggie, you too cute for this, man. Oh. You too. You know. Oh. You, you too oh. good looking for him. You're not like <laughs> you treating Maggie wrong, bro. She look like such a sweet person. Didn't change at all. He keeps bothering, he keeps calling. Yeah, that's no surprise at all. Think about all the crap nurses have to put up with in the medical field. It's never a good thing when someone in that type of high stress job so, so, attitude is looking a so, problem. So. I've never seen any patient like Steven. He asking for pain medicine every 15 minutes and then he spilled urine on the floor. Just he spilled what way? Wait, pain what? medicine every 15 minutes and then he spilled urine on the floor. He spilled urine on the floor, bro. Like, wow. Bro, she, like, I know I keep pop, but dude, she, dude. Bro, he treating them like they, like, like, bro, he's not human no more, bruh. He is a animal. He's a beast at this point, bruh. And she has to clean up after this man. Come on now, ever. And that is not you urine on the floor, bro. Awful, you need to be as a human being to spill your own urine all over the room because professional healthcare workers aren't waiting on your every whim 24/7. Steven, what's going on with your behavior? I know that, and I apologize for it. Apology mean nothing. At this point, there's nothing I can do to help you. So you're done here. Doctor now does not make threats lightly. For maybe the first time in his life, Steven is face to face with consequences of his own actions. Yep. He's out of the hospital, and let's see how he handles the news. I've been doing good and everything. Please, I've been nah, good. I, no. I swear, I apologize to everybody. I don't Begging want to hear none of that. Come on, Stephen. At least you got your dignity. And by the way, I've seen better acting in a Hallmark Christmas movies. I've seen Steven better acting on so TV far personally. Off the chart from what we have ever experienced, <laughs> that there is no systematic approach to him. Aside from how you treat your child to behave. Doctor now basically mirrors what the nurses say. Steven is the worst patient they've ever had, period. And think about that for a second. Doctor now specializes in this field. My okay. signature pound life had been on for five seasons Bro, by this point. He had been working nothing. with food addicts long before the show hit the airwaves. Of the hundreds of patients in his career, Steven is the only one to be this much trouble. Steven, you're lying about everything you're doing. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm suspending you from the weight loss program. Okay. You're going from here to a drug what? Program. Whoa. Because right now, there's nothing we can do to wake you up.
Good for Dr. Nelson for forcing Steven into rehab, but everybody knows that rehab only works if the person going has some desire to change. I just call a non-emergency ambulance and the hospitals can't turn me away because yeah. what I use for excuse. So as long as I tell them oh, I need to oh, oh, the the tent, the then they have to treat me. And when they give the injection to the IV, like, um, on another planet. Again, this is a shocking level of self-awareness coming from Steven. He doesn't deny or explain away his actions. He knows what he did was Ooh. wrong, and he gives this a pretty strong bad. account of how he I managed to cheat peak, the Have y'all seen if it's right any else, name brand? Bro, pause able... the video. I want y'all to peek, bro. Like he's so big, bro. He can't wear anything name brand. I want y'all to y'all peek. Like I'm, I'm, I'm the type of dude. I like my plain James too, but Steven, they don't make Nikes big enough for you, buddy. They, they, they don't make Prada big enough for you because Prada is not Prada you. I'm telling you right now. I've been here for a week and they say now the drugs are out of my system and I'm free to go Eat, bro, home. Steven is back on the outside shirt. after his detox and I'm sure we all know how this goes. Medicine's not ready. They need your insurance information. Right now you are looking at 150 total. You have no idea what I've been going through, okay? On the phone and with Steven. Ah, oh, you're going to hear me. You're going to hear me. I need one hundred and fifty dollars to fill my treatment medicine. I will relapse if I don't have that medicine here. God, this guy is. Bro, is y'all paying for your son medicine? He talked to you like that, bro. Not saying like you know, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You're not even my son. You know, my son could never, bro. I'm. I got. I. I, I got to disown you, bro. Like you a grown man, and, and it's not like he's 16, 17. bro. He's just a grown, probably 30, 40 year old man, bro. You got to get it actually to yourself, just the worst. Not your dad has given you. you far more chances than you deserve, and this is how you far treat him when you ask for money. Come on, dude. The drugs get are important. Gone. Nobody's denying that. That's not how you ask. I hope you're not living with his dad, bro. Need, you um, had to move you know, out ASAP. Talking to me, out, me like, like that. What's working out? You actually asking me for pain medication? Yeah, I want to work out two times a day. Asking for drugs? That's cat. Seriously? What do you think is going to happen there? Pass you want to eat two times more a day. What are you talking Maybe, about? Maybe uh, five times. Five times in a month. And of course, Steven's still pulling five his ER times. stunts because of course he is. Man, let me know how y'all feel about Max, bro. Is this the worst? <laughs> is this the worst 600 pound patient we've ever seen, bro? Or if there's somebody worse. If there's somebody worse, please, please let me know in the comment section below or DM me on Instagram because I got to see the video. This is by far the worst, bro. Until you apologize to that hospital staff, bro, we got beef. And I'm not talking about the beef you eat with your hungry self, bro. No. Until next time, though, bro, I'm going to see y'all in the next reaction. It's your boy King Zay signing out, man. Peace. Hey, man. W video, W King Zay.